There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show. And I'm a little under the weather, so I do apologize if I sound like death. But since I started the show with COVID, this is just a minor, you know, irritant. It's not COVID or anything. Uh, this is Sokoban. And uh, it's kind of special, I guess, because over the years I've sort of said, oh, this is a Sokoban variant, this is a Sokoban variant, and so on and so forth. This is Sokoban. This is the original English release of Sokoban, which is an Asian game. Not entirely sure where from, but this is the Spectrum Holobyte version. And uh, we've got a lovely menu, actually. I have to say, this is very different. You've actually got a third person behind the shoulder view of our protagonist with the option to uh, select various elevators. I don't know what's happening with the uh, the graphics on the side. We're just going to ignore that. And let's, let's just go right to play. And off he goes to the elevator. Or as some would say in Britain, a lift. And we will now select a level. So we're on level one, I guess. That's the, the main lobby. So let's go to level... Oh, no, that was the selection. So selected one with the option between single and tournament. And we've got a time limit. Okay, so we've got our little man here. And he has to move these in a manner that uh, will basically have us win the game. And I'll explain for those who don't know in due course, but I've got to activate the old brain here. And that could be a problem. But so if I move that there and I move that there, I can shift this immediately over here, right? Okay, nice and in the corner. So the goal of Sokoban is it's a box moving game a puzzler of sorts where you have to shift boxes into the appropriate place and then those boxes as you can see from the beautiful cga graphics very very simple will then change color to indicate that yes we the boxes are in the correct position thank you lonnie so the question is should i move the box there or down there i, th I think i'll shift it down there and you can hear little beeps and boops from the PC speaker. This is like a number of Spectrum Holobyte uh, conversions. A very, very simple, but very, very effective puzzle. Now, I may have scuppered myself already. You'll see in due course what I mean. Because by moving one of those boxes into the wrong place, I may have prevented myself from winning the game. So let's just clear what we can of this room. And then we'll head back. And it's nice that uh, this has a 20 minute time limit. The show has a 20 minute time limit. But the, the actual game itself has said, Hey, I know you do a 20 minute time limit thing. So let's have one built in. Most games are not so uh, generous as to do that. Yeah, like, sometimes you want a game where there's ostentatious graphics or a brilliant soundtrack or all kinds of things going on to really immerse you in the world. And then there are times like this where you're like, I just want something simple that I can pick up and play immediately. And Sokoban falls into that. Now, see these three boxes? See the trouble I'm having with them? I may have already, like I said before, ruined my possibilities. But I'm just going to have a little play and see what I can do. Certain games, they're so easy to sort of uh, demonstrate to an audience. 
like if I was to pick up something like uh, High Octane or Magic Carpet by Bullfrog or Command and Conquer by Westwood, you know, there's there's all sorts always going on that makes it easy for the audience to sort of appreciate the uh, the beauty of it. But recently, with certain games, that's not been the case. Like I I did a video. Uh, it was a game called Solitaire Royale, and it got very few views. I wasn't expecting it to get a lot of views, but it, it, it just, uh, in terms of presentation, was very dry. Most people knew what it was, and as a result, they uh, they decided not to watch, and I don't blame them for that, you know. But when you actually play a game like that, as opposed to watch it, it is ridiculously entertaining, you know? It's difficult to sort of uh, express, I guess, in a way. But those who know, know that there's a certain type of uh, very simple game that just works. And it doesn't need all those additional bits and pieces. And you look at certain uh, companies that come out and they add like uh, HD mode, a uh, whole pile of sound effects, all kinds of stuff to the formula. And they're like, well, we've just made the formula even better. I remember I did a review of uh, a Tetris variant. It was a, just a quick review. And it was it's a, it was a little tongue in cheek, but you know that the fella came from the right place. You know, he made a decent Tetris clone, but it, it was just like you know I could be playing this, or I could just be playing Tetris. You know, there's a certain level, there's a certain degree of uh, how to put it uh, improvement that you can make on an original concept before as a, as a gamer, as a player you look at that and you're just like right, that's enough you've improved it enough any more is and I've said this phrase before I think it's a British phrase, some people will know it over egging the pudding any more and you're adding to the point where it becomes an actual problem an actual issue now, speaking of actual problems and issues, the more intelligent and puzzle-minded among you, I'm not particularly good at puzzles, you know, will have already spotted what has gone wrong with my playthrough of the first level of Sokoban. I'm down to the last few bricks, but, and it's a pretty big but, I don't think I'm going to be able to complete this. So let's just get this brick over here. You probably saw my uh, my other strategy, which players of the game will be familiar with. The idea of moving the box just to a different room entirely. Right. So, we've reached the point of no return and Maybe there was a way of pulling the boxes. I don't think there is, but yeah, I've reached a point where I cannot complete this level because I can only move those boxes up against the wall. I can't get them off the wall as far as I can tell. I could move this box off the wall, but in order to do so, that box above me would need to be moved, and I can't do that, so... Ha! So after 338 pushes, I've not quite done enough. Oh, look at this! Oh, wow. He's, he's randomly uh, hit buttons here. I'm not sure I want level 28. Okay, so we're back in, and I couldn't pick a second level. I'm not entirely sure why, but hey... Let's see if we can do a little better this time round. No, because I've pushed that against the wall. 
Oh, no. I've, I've failed the level in 16 seconds. <laughs> oh, Lonnie, what are you doing? So this is a first. I've actually gone back to the game after reaching the edit window because I thought to myself, right, I need to explain this interface a little better. See, if I go into play, right, and I hit select, and I hit single, for some reason, that takes me to level four. But if I hit the L button, that'll take me back down the elevator, right? So if I hit one, single, exit, one, and then L, I guess? No. That takes me down to the menu. The actual menu system had me jump into level four, and I'm not entirely sure why. Look, there it is. So, how do I clear that? There should be a clear button. Right. I've hit one, and now I've hit zero. But delete is not clearing it for me. And backspace is not clearing it for me. So I've been sat playing level four of Sokoban instead of level one. And I'm not entirely sure why. So somebody in the comments who has a larger brain than me can tell me what I've done wrong here or whether it's my copy that's gone wrong. But for some reason, I can't seem to access the correct level. Okay, so I went into the manual about this, and apparently the arrow keys are meant to control the man's arm, and then you select, I like typing into a keypad, that makes a lot of sense. My version doesn't seem to do that, I don't know why, and it also says, oh yeah, and then you, you just need to hit the approval button on the elevator panel. And you'd think, right, that's, that's where the accept thing is, right? But I can't get to the accept, so that's unfortunate. And then the manual doesn't actually tell you the key that you need to press in order to get the accept on the elevator panel. It says, oh, you just need to go to the reference card in order to get the approval key. But my copy didn't come with a reference card. And I've looked up online and I can't find a reference card for the DOS game from the 80s. So, you know, it's a bit of a problem. So either my copy is bugged or I'm just stupid because I'm sick. It's one or the other. Okay, we are back at the elevator button, and as you can see, you can control his hand, but it just selects a random number. I don't know the clear button. I don't know how to clear. You're supposed to be able to control his arm in, or in order to select levels, but it's not working. And I don't know why it's not working, so somebody else can figure that out for me, whether my copy is bugged or what's going on. Very frustrating. Can't even play the first level of a game. Right, take two. <laughs> Sorry, that, that really uh, tickled me there. The way that I managed to mess that up. So if we just clear that out of the way, and then uh, we'll shift this box over here. Okay. Now I'm in trouble. How did I do this before? You know when you're not feeling 100% and your head just doesn't work? That's what's happening here. Uh, I've completely messed this up again, I believe. Because I have quite literally forgotten how I did what I did before. Which is shocking, really, you know? I should remember how I did that in the first place, right? Man somehow forgets how to play Sokoban. Researchers baffled. So yeah, I could go on playing Sokoban, but I think I'm the wrong person for the job at the minute, and I'm not in any sort of form to play it. But, by virtue of the Random DOS game show being the way it is, I play come sickness or in health. So, yeah, that's a thing. What is Sokoban? Well, Sokoban is a box-moving puzzle game. It's a very good box-moving puzzle game. And I have to say, this version, which is based off the original, is actually a little harder than some of the variants I've played over the years. Very nicely done. Not much to say about it other than it's a classic puzzler. 
and it's well worth a look for people who enjoy that CGA palette and minimal PC speaker and just want to be immersed in the puzzle game. An excellent little title, and it will probably be in my top 25, to be honest. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on the channel, and if you like what you see, you can always subscribe. And if you know that Lonnie keeps going, irrespective of whether he's delusional from the flu or not, then you're one of my very understanding patrons who are patiently waiting for the next exclusive video on Patreon and YouTube. Wonderful folk. So yeah, I gave this the good college try, but fell a bit short. But people with better spatial awareness and puzzle-solving skills should get a kick out of this one. It's a classic. Until next time.